another beautiful day. Got some footage of the snow. It's snowy outside. So I'll have to go somewhere and do some snow stuff for the end of the day. But got this chair to put back together. And I want to put that, I want to see if I can get that chair, the other chair to work. We'll see. You'll see if the glue's set up pretty well for the seat part. But I want to see if I can get that back to look good. And then maybe stain that. Um, and I think I actually have enough rods sitting around for me to work on my weird Asian thing. So we'll see how we do. Anyway. <laughs> Right, so came together pretty well. Oiling it up also made a big difference in its mobility. And shaving down those rubber off those wheels, although not going to be so nice on my floors, I might buy a little mat pad. Um, definitely made it more level <laughs> and actually roll a lot smoother. On my list is maybe buying new casters. Um, would not be a horrible thing to get for it. But yeah, I had to add about, what is that? Quarter of an inch in that board to make sure that when I wobble back and forth, it's evenly putting pressure on it so as not to split that seam I just fixed again. But hopefully it'll still fit under my desk. I am quite pleased with this repair. Um, you can see the other repair I did. This back panel was all rotted out so I recut a piece of wood to match it, or not to match it, to fix it. Um, I like having the, this is my chair, so I like having this obvious blatant repair on it. It makes me feel good. I like to see that it has been fixed where it was broke before. I enjoy that um, in all my pieces. And also on this piece, which is now setting up and gluing, actually sits in there pretty nice. Um, and I think once that sets and uh, once it fully sets, yeah, I think it'll, I think it'll be a pretty solid piece. Um, I might find dowels fit right in here. I might just wedge a dowel in here and glue that in place too, just to keep it from moving so much. Um, I think that would still work with the design. Um, but yeah, no, this piece managed to, or at least it's on the track to being salvaged as opposed to being trashed, which I'm pretty pleased with um, on the whole, seeing as I thought it was a pretty much lost project for a while there. Um, just got to peel off all this extra rubber cement. But yeah, pretty solid. I think I've got a few projects. I wanted to make a box out of that cardboard I got. Um, so I think maybe next I'll do a little bit of prop work. I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to make a Blamco box from Fallout, um, Fallout 4. Um, I'll probably just print off the paper for the sides um, in order to make it work. Um, but I'm going to make the box out of that really thick cardboard because I think that'll be a nice sturdy prop. Um, and I enjoy that. So, mm, yeah, we're vibing. Got this box. You saw I did a funky weird cut trying to get it, but it's not quite perfect and it's a little crust crunchy, but it's sturdier than a fucking normal cardboard box would be. Um, and it's not as heavy as 
wood, which are two nice features of using this really horrible to work with material, um, uh, like just thick cardboard. Um, but I've got the slot for, well, I think I'm gonna use just one of these, um, and I'm gonna position it, have just like two positions for it, like that. Um, I'm gonna wrap it in aluminum foil so it uh, does not have holes in it. Um, yeah, now I'm just debating whether or not I should try, I'm gonna coat the, cover this in a layer of paper and probably just glue it on. Um, but I'm debating whether or not I want to paint it. That's what I don't know. Cause I could print off like, I don't have a printer. I think I'm gonna paint it. Which is gonna be an adventure cause I do not paint really hardly ever. But that's kind of one of the things I need to work on and that's why we're here doing this little prop project. So, we're gonna rock it, sock it, robots. First time painting in, uh, Jesus, long time. I'm pretty pleased with that result. Um, by no means precise or crisp, but it's, you know, it's just a, you know, silly little prop brush, so I'm pretty pleased. Um, I think I'm gonna, pr I painted this side, I think we're gonna do a printout for the other sides. Um, you know, just to try some different methods. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna actually attach this, because I do not have, any like not extremely excessive glue. I might just hot glue. Because that's the props person's friend. Yeah, I'm gonna hot glue. Um Yeah. So nifty. Um next project. <laughs>